Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this as x tends to 0. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, turn this cos x, turn this cos x in, into a series. So by right, it should be, it should be this whole series here, starting at 0. But, um, but because, uh, because we, we, uh, because we've got this minus 1 and then plus x squared over 2, We've got this minus, this one here, and then x squared over 2, and then we've got this x to the power of 4 here, x to the power of 4 here. Rather than starting at 0, let's, let's break it up and start at 3. So we, we want to extract these three terms, but then we start at 3, at n equals 3. So, hang on, let's start again. So, uh, so this course here gives us this whole thing here. But because, uh, because we've got this one here, and then this x squared here, x squared here, and this to the power of 4 here. Let's, let's rewrite cos, cos of x as this. Re, rewrite cos of x as uh, the first three terms, 1, 2, 3. But then we start at n equals 3, and then the rest all the way to infinity. So rather than, rather than starting at 0, start at n equals 3. Just because we want to extract these three terms because of, because of these. Okay, so, so let's start again. Uh, we are trying to, uh, to find the limit of this. Rewrite cos as this thing here. So now, um, now cos of x. Now let's look at the numerator. Now let's look at the whole thing here. So, uh, so now, now let's look at this whole thing here. So remember, cos of x is this whole thing here. So cos of x. So, uh, so cos of x here is this whole thing here. And then you've got your minus 1 minus 1 and then plus x squared over 2 x squared over 2 and then uh, and then this will get cancelled out with this and then this will, will get cancelled out with this so the, these the, these will cancel out and then uh, you've got and then you've got to divide this block by 4 by x to the power of 4 and then you've got to divide all the terms in the in the summation by by x over 4 while well, looking at this divide this by um, Divide this by x to the power of 4. You're just going to be left with, um, with 1 over 4 factorial. Okay, so, so divide this by, by x over 4, uh, x to the power of 4. That will then give you this. Now, looking at this, divide every single term by x to the power of 4. So this will be minus, so this will be 2n minus 4. If, if you, if you divide every single term, or inside this summation by x to the power of 4 you simply just get this take away 4 okay so so from from here that will then take us to here okay so now now take the limit as um, as x tends to 0 uh, so so now take the limit well this is a constant so the limit will still be this and then now as x tends to 0 so so take the limit as uh, as x tends to 0 so take the limit as x tends to zero. Well, x tends to zero. Uh, as this tends to zero, then then an, anything to the um, to the power of anything to the power of zero is going to be zero, and nothing really breaks down here. And uh, so 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 the limit of this as x tends to zero will be zero. So you're left with one over uh, uh, one over twenty four. Something uh, something I forgot to mention is that um, if you look at if you look at cos here, cos is valid for all values of x. So x can be anything on the real number line. It doesn't really matter. But overall, your, your limit will be uh, 1 over 24.